Hello and welcome you beautiful people to my let's play of No More Heroes. Ah, a game I like and have played so many times before. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, this is a game by Goji Suda. I really love it. I have probably beaten it by now, uh, I think, about 12 times. And I should know what I'm doing here. Um, unlike my let's play of Lollipop Chainsaw, a game I only beat once. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of cutscenes going to happen now, and I'm just going to let you watch those, and I'll be right back with you. Now, I say I have played this game a lot, but um, it has been a long time since I last played it. So, uh, yeah, well, I should be fine. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. At least that's what Bishop, the dude at the video store, said. So I'm at the register, then I realized I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. Man, she smelled good. So being the gentleman I am, I bought her a drink. Anywho, I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the drifter. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was. This cat, well-dressed, cool, couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain old shit. Yeah, so he's styling, fast, aggressive, and packing heat. Bada bing. Or at least it was supposed to be. Till she showed up. Her name? Sylvia Crystal, an agent with this Watchmacaller Association. Congratulations. You are certified as the 11th best hitman. How about getting rid of the 10 killers above you and aim for the top? I want to be number one. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? It's gonna be a long, hard road. But who knows? Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. Could totally suck. What do you say, bro? Join me. Let's see how far we can take this. And for you there holding the Wii remote right now, just press the A button. Let the bloodshed begin! Alright, so far so good. Let's have to do first battle. Fuckhead! Yo, help me out here. Where's this death metal dude? Bad answer. <laughs> It's game time! Alright, time for some tutorial, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, it's not skippable. Um, so it's going to annoy me a bit. Also, I'm playing this game on normal difficulty with all the uh, unlocks, so it's a new game plus one. Uh, mostly. Well, because I don't want to grind, and grinding is boring, so um, I'll just go with this. I have the best katana, I never have to reload it. Um, normally you have to shake the view mode in order to reload it. Um, yeah. So this should be nice and fun. As you can see, it is really quite easy. There is also a uh, version of this game for the PlayStation 3 that is not censored. So if you're looking for a version that has blood and all that, you should try and get that one. Uh, I might actually do a let's play of that one too uh, at some point. 
but let's finish this one first. <laughs> I constantly want to try to run, but I can't do it because I in, I'm still in a fighting area, so I can't do it. So you have two stances, you have the upright position and the downside position. Which gives you two different movesets, um, it's not a huge difference, but it's a difference nonetheless. As you can see, I, I just have to mash a button in order to attack the enemy, and at the end- oh, yeah, that's a nice duel. At the end I have to, to do a directional swipe with um, the V-mode. And I got a special. Yeah, that's really menacing, especially if no enemies are annoyed. Oh, there are some now. Yeah, you, if you get lucky, you get a special thing like this um, after killing an enemy. But, well, it, it rarely happens in a moment where you can actually use it in any meaningful way, so that's a bit sad. Am I going the right way? I think so. Uh, this is where I came in. Do I have to go down again? I think so. Maybe. Yeah, remember when I said at the beginning that I know what I was doing? Yeah. Oh, there you are. So you can lock on to enemies. Um, you can also choose to not do so, but normally it's a wise decision to do so. There's still someone here around now. Yeah, camera isn't all that great in this game. If you want to play this game, you play it for the humor, for the story, for the characters. Mm, a bit for the bosses, because. Some bosses are really entertaining to fight. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much why you should play this game. It's somewhat an, uh, somewhat of an overlooked gem for the Wii. There's also a sequel, which in some regards is a better game. But I still prefer the first one for the story. I am going to play the first, uh, the second game at some point too, so... Uh, Stay tuned for that. Just as I thought, it's going to continue down here. Just going to pick up some health. I can also do normal melee attacks without the weapon, which um, does some neat luchador moves, but um, not all that necessary right now. Maybe at one of the bosses I have to do it. See, now I got the special thing at the last enemy and it's not doing anything. I can only menace the walls so much. Alright. I also have this neat jump that I can use to just instantly kill uh, enemies with. That's an upgrade you get fairly late in the game, but it's really fun to use in the new game plus um, because it really makes situations so much more easy. I can also do this. Um, but that's more something that is interesting if you're in a boss fight. Normally you have to grind like hell for this sword, so uh, really happy with um, starting off with it. Many people didn't uh, thought that the game didn't look quite good when it came out, but I still think it's uh, very stylish, very neat, uh, and it runs well. So there's uh, still somebody here. Oh, yeah, there you are. Uh, it has a very clean look. Uh, obviously the second game looks better, obviously the HD remaster looks better, but considering when this came out, it, 
It looks fairly decent. Yeah, during the full special move on him. So only the Japanese uh, version has blood in it, which is a bit disappointing. Um, it's not a huge deal, because it's still satisfying to see all the um, coins just flying out of the bodies. Also, uh, Travis automatically blocks, so that's so something great. Uh, he doesn't block when he, his sword is out of energy, but we don't have to deal with that. So, um, yeah. Also, these transitions are really stylish. Oh, I get a phone call now, so I'm going to hold my remote to uh, my recorder in order to uh, to my microphone, so you can hear it. I don't know if it's going to work, so. Alright, I hope this comes through well. Uh, anyway, so now we are in front of the boss battle where I'm just going to save. And yeah, of course he's going to save on the toilet because that's how a real man saves the game. I'm going to leave you here. So we'll see how this will go on. Uh, I hope I can see you next time around too. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, like and share the video. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.